Isaiah 37, verses 14 to 20. Hezekiah received the letter from the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord and spread it out before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, O Lord Almighty, God of Israel, enthroned between the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You made heaven and earth. Give ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Listen to all the words Sennacherib has sent to insult the living God. It is true, O Lord, that the Assyrian kings have laid waste all these peoples and their lands. They have thrown their gods into the fire and destroyed them, for they were not gods, but only wood and stone fashioned by human hands. Now, O Lord our God, deliver us from his hand, so that all kingdoms on earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Amen. Here we see the great prayer of Hezekiah uh, when the Assyrian army was laying siege to Jerusalem. But Hezekiah starts with thanksgiving worship. He says, O Lord Almighty, enthroned between the cherubim, you alone are God. He starts by giving God worship, glory, honour. And it's a great place for us to start if we come before God in prayer, to worship him, to praise him, to thank him for who he is. As we focus on him, the things of this earth will go into their rightful place. But then he doesn't hesitate to lay out the problem and the facts before God. He says that Sennacherib has sent insulting letters to the living God and that the Assyrians have laid waste cities and towns before them. And he lays out these facts before God. Don't be afraid to be honest before God. God knows anyway. God knows what's going on. But it's good for us to be open and honest and lay out what is happening before our God. And then he comes with his request. Lord our God, deliver us from his hand so that the kingdoms on earth will know that you are God. He comes and says, Lord, save us. Lord, deliver us. Lord, don't let this Assyrian army uh, be successful. And the reason why is that so that the glory goes to God, so that all peoples on earth will know that you are God. And we know as we continue with the story that God heard Hezekiah's prayer and answered his prayer. And I want to encourage today that we can come before God with our problems, with our situations and be totally honest before him. But pray that God will answer our prayers for his glory and then believe that God has heard our prayer and he will answer us. May God bless you.